Greetings, Solzwind here, and welcome to the tutorial on how to build OmniDesk Ascent in 3D animated model. Recently, I bought an OmniDesk Ascent from OmniDesk. It's a motorized height adjustable table. Just a table, more like a really cool gaming table that's also good for working. So, that's why this video is here on a gaming channel. For more background on how this video came about, please skip to the timestamp shown on screen. This video is not meant to replace the user manual that's provided. If in doubt, please refer to the provided user manual. This video is not sponsored by OmniDesk. These are the steps to build the OmniDesk Ascent. The parts are quite heavy, so please be careful when assembling the table. Step 1. Place the table frame at a spacious area on the floor. Next. Lift up the two DE2 leg columns. They are indicated as part number 3 on the provided user manual. Bring in the two side brackets as shown. They are indicated as part number 18 on your user manual. Hold on to the leg column on one side of the table and carefully slot in the side bracket to the frame end indicated as part 11. There's another frame end indicated as part 15. How do we identify the difference here? If we pause here, we can see that part 15 has this lip or lid where the control box will be slotted into later. Now repeat the same thing for frame end 15. Hold on to the leg column and carefully slot in the side bracket. The Easy 3.0 press plates are indicated as part 10 on the user manual. Now using the handle provided, slot that into the cutout in the Easy 3.0 press plate and then carefully apply some force to press down the press plate, thereby securing the leg column. Do the same for the other side. Bring in the feet of the table. Next, bring in the M6 x 14 machine screw, and there's 8 of them. They're indicated as part number 2 on the user manual provided. Also bring in the Allen wrench that was provided. The Allen wrench is indicated as part number 22, the M4 wrench. Position one foot atop the upright leg column and tighten the M6 times 14 machine screws as shown. Four screws are used here. Then repeat the same for the other side. Now carefully move one side of the frame end to reveal part number 14, the center rail. The two frame ends are fully detachable from the center rail so that they can be separately moved onto the tabletop. Before we move the entire structure onto the tabletop, we can consider adding the position rubbers into the center rail. The position rubbers are indicated as part 13 in the user manual and are optional. Now let's move the frame ends onto the tabletop. In this animation, the frame ends are not separated. However, they are very heavy, so if necessary, separate the two frame ends from the center rail and move them separately onto the tabletop and then reassemble them. The progress should look like what's shown on screen right now. Next, bring in the M6 x 12 flat machine screws. There are 8 of them and they are indicated as part number 9 on the user manual. Also bring in your Phillips head screwdriver or power drill. Fasten 4 of the M6 x 12 flat machine screw to one side bracket as shown. Then repeat the same thing with the other 4 M6 x 12 flat machine screws on the other side bracket. Bring in the M5 times 16 wood screws. There are three of them. And they're indicated as part number 6 on the user manual. Fasten the M6 times 16 wood screws into the slots located on the frame ends as shown on screen. 
tighten the M8-45 flat machine screws, and there are eight of them. However, they're not separately packed. Instead, find them already in their respective slots in the frame ends. The M8-45 flat machine screws are indicated as part 7 on the user manual. Tighten all 8 screws as shown on screen. Now here is where it specifically applies to the ascent. Bring in part number 17, the ascent desk controller. The ascent desk controller is indicated as part number 17 on the user manual. Position the ascent desk controller on the side of the table that you wish to access the controller. Then bring in the M4 times 16 wood screws indicated as part number 16 on the user manual. Fasten both of the M4 times 16 wood screws in the cutouts of the ascent desk controller as shown. Fine tune or adjust the position of the ascent desk controller, then tighten the screws. Now bring up the control box as indicated by number 4 on the user manual. Rotate it according to where your ascent desk controller is or where you want your power cable to be. Slot that onto the lip on the frame end indicated as part number 15 frame end dash C B. For the 60 inch and the 72 inch desk or the 150 cm and the 180 cm desk, there is a connection cable provided. It is indicated by part number 20 and it is required to extend the motor cable to the control box. Bring it up and attach it as such. Finally, connect the other motor cable to the control box and then connect the desk controller's cable into the control box. We can now connect the power cord to the control box. The power cord is indicated by part number 19 on the user manual. Finally, for 60 inch and 72 inch desks, or rather, 150 cm and 180 cm desks, we are provided with three magnetic cable trays indicated by part number 5 on the user manual. They are magnetic and can be attached to the center rail as shown. There we have it. The assembly of the OmniDesk Ascent is completed. So I chose to assemble the table myself and I looked at the printed user manual which was quite informative. However, I still kind of struggled a little with some of the steps. So I looked online and on YouTube for guides on how to build the table but all the instructions I found were real life instructions. They were of course very useful and helpful but nevertheless that made me think what if there's an animated tutorial with labels and such. So I came up with this 3D animated model that's not built to scale. I tried my best to tape measure the components and scale them accordingly, but my apologies for any discrepancies. Lastly, no, this is not sponsored. I just wanted to provide another option for anyone looking for tutorials on how to build the OmniDesk Ascent. And then lastly, lastly, I might have mentioned this already, this video is not meant to be the replacement for the user manual. If in doubt, please refer to the provided user manual. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.